Hey everybody, uh, I'm Pastor Fred. This is the follow through. We uh, every day we're we're kind of looking at what God is saying to us and living that out. In fact, this whole week, uh, as we look at the forgiving challenge, uh, and today we hit we hit day 35. It's all about how do we live it out. That that's just the whole point, right? We don't want to stay bogged down. We don't stay trapped in our sin. We've been freed from that. We've been uh, we are loved by God. We've seen that. We've gone through all of those. Uh, different things and by the way we go through all those all the time right it, it's uh, we're always looking at our sin confessing uh, experiencing forgiveness and that restoration and then okay how do we put it all together and, and how do I use all of those things in my life that's the point uh, and so today we're gonna look at 1st Peter 2 verses 11 and 12 which gives us some help uh, and, and he puts it in pretty strong terms Peter does he says beloved uh, again, that, that speaks to restoration. I, I'm, I am now considered the beloved uh, by God and by fellow Christians, right? That, that's how we're seen, how we should, really how we should see each other. So he urges us. He says, I urge you as sojourners, right? Heaven is your home. You're just a stranger here. He says, you're exiles. So you should abstain from the passions of the flesh because they war against your soul. Keep your conduct among the Gentiles, among those who don't believe honorable, so that when they speak against you as evildoers, which sometimes happens, and maybe a lot of times, that they may see your good deeds, glorify God on the day of visitation. So here's the reality, people are watching and, and they're, 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 they've heard us say that, you know, we confessed our sins, we, we believe in Jesus, we are restored. But then what happens if we don't live that? What happens if we're living a different story and our lives are telling a different story? Uh, that's what he is trying to say. We are uh, just passing through. And, uh, and so for us to, to embrace things that would enslave us is just, it's just crazy. And God says, let's reject that. Let's be the people of God and let's live for him each and every day um, because we are loved and we are forgiven. All right. So on page 220, or actually 231, okay, the, the, the work for today, the thing we want you to do, the response is to, uh, to, to look at what, what mark will you make in the world as you go out and live this out? What, what mark do you hope to live out and leave? How are you going to bring glory to God with, with what you are known for and, and what you are going to be uh, remembered for? All right? We'll fill all that out and, and really take it to heart on page 231. And we'll talk to you tomorrow with another follow-through.